Necrophos into Tinker. Now on this Tinker, I mean, it's a pretty, uh, I want to say, easy pick that you can make for Vega Squad. And you know you have the Crystal Maiden already, so mana is going to be much less of an issue from this just mana-starved hero of Tinker. A decent matchup versus Puck. Having the Laser versus Lone Druid is absolutely backbreaking. You know you're going to be pushed. So having March of the Machines, Missiles for defense there is very, very nice as well. Uh, I like the Tinker pick for Vegas Squadron. This Necrophos pick is interesting, though, for Team Secret. We've seen Necrophos picked up, mostly thrown towards the safe lane. I think almost without exception. Mm, Lone Druid usually goes there as well, so I'm not really sure what these secret lanes are actually going to be looking like. Is it a Keizu Necrophos? Keizu Puck? Is there a mid-Necrophos? This is a very interesting Tinker uh, build as well. It, uh, very aggressive, against... very high. A uh, very high skilled player. So this mid lane matchup okay. is going to be pretty heavily contested. Mid one is going to have his bottle soon. Oh, Soneko? Against what? Top lane? He's going to try to escape with TP? Not going to happen. Yeah. Look, no mana on Pile I Die. He was literal two mana away from Paralyzing Cask. But this one also is going to be fairly difficult. They're going to walk into bottom lane. It is 3v2, but there are a lot of Chen creeps here. They freeze one of the Chen creeps though, Crystal Maiden being strong in that regard, but the Sonic Boom comes out! And they will take out the Sven, so Didier Brown loses his life, so... Secret get one big kill on the board there, rotating both both support heroes down to help out Keizu after that gank early. Neko steals another bounty rune, and again might be punished because the coil just comes back up. Yeah. Dead. Blocks the spin with the roll away with the coil. We saw some other players get it, G, but still pretty much where he wants to be, uh, then how do Secret win fights? They need a really good scythe, or a pick up on CM, and get on bottom. Yep, they get the Savage roll there, prevents the Crystal Nova from coming out, and Keisu gets a nice little kill. Highlight die. <laughs> that was a pretty big gank. Yeah, they have to reap the scythe as well, so getting put in the ground for extra time. No, no, they're gonna decide to pick off the Darps here instead. So Didier Ra might survive, but MP, he will be able to squeeze out some bit of farm. And uh, Vega, it's up to them to win oh, a coil. good fight, but mid one comes in with the coil and the Witch Doctor as well, deploys that ultimate, so Neko, nowhere to run with that coil tying him down, and mid one still wants to look for a CM, does he find her? He has another orb, the missiles come in, the silence comes out, and mid one will get it with the combo. Yeah, Mech is being Skeleton built by Necrophos, that's the uh, tanky okay. item that MP is going to be going for. Most likely it's going to be Mech Reeves into a uh, oh. Ags for the site. Uh oh, Coil coming, Demon the Slayer, now here comes Didier Ra with the ultimate as well. He gets Savage from Kaizen and there's your Reeves Slice. Half Elf and will go down. Oh, a big Slanto from Crystal Maiden. The boys the ultimate, Sven gets a hit on the Necrophos as well as the Lone Druid. Losing big heroes there, Secret losing a lot of heroes now. Mag charging forward with the Dark Slayer. He might have just saved Vegas Bacon. Puppy trying to scoot on out and not having that early mech choosing to relegate it to that necropose might have just cost secret that fight wow is there any way they can catch him maybe they get the savage roll i don't know there's still a lot of heroes here they might just go for this fan is ready they roll in and there's the silence as well the kick and pull and even back you man highlight that was in the background trying to save the life but now the mech as well the hand of god is going to cause some troubles for them there's the Death War deploy now, so Neko walking into a wall, <laughs> getting hit by the Reaper Scythe, and now Highlight Dive is going to chase forward for that Crystal Maiden, even the Slayer is going to get brought down. Puppy brings in the Commando Squad of Neutral Creep. Yeah, and you know the best part about this Aghanims, it's, it's kind of like forward planning. Uh, we might have to hold that, but it's forward planning for when the Sven eventually gets that BKB mid one. going to jump to the side there, just juking there with the cast and the Melodic, there is an Echo. Scythe, man, an easy pick off there. Sven down for 70 seconds without buyback. That is nasty. I, I, I think part of the reason why that fight went so poorly for them, we can perhaps attribute it to the fact that everyone's bought Midas is all Jitchiva mid. He's dead. Yeah, that's a bad time to go down right outside its base. 70 seconds on the sidelines as well. Player. Gonna run as well. The Crystal Maiden, very poor in comparison to the support. So if you look at that net worth, poor CM sitting at that 2700 compared to the Pilot Day living in riches. Oh no, there's a sight for him. It's off cooldown. The BKB gets deployed, but he can still get stunned there by the calls. Like, what the hell is happening? I thought this protects me from magic. 
Lundrew strikes him down, the Mjolnir just bouncing all around, Mag in trouble as well, the Iron Shell working against him, the Orb is there, finds Mag, Heizu with the long range attacks there, sickles him in the back, even picks up the gem. Oh, but he's gonna walk right into the enemy team, Diddy Rock gonna give you a point blank stun, but mid one, too quick for him, going to juke that one out. And uh, that ambush again failing on that fairy dragon. But they get the Necrolite. This might be a nice one to get. Magnetize. Slow silence. The slow missing though. So they might not be able to catch him in time. The rocket's there. The pipe. The frost armor is so damn tanky. He might just get a Reaper Scythe all of a sudden. Dash Crystal Maiden trying to get that ultimate ready. But Twilight there just lays down the law. Deploys that machine gun. Wow. Is that Sven even a carry? He went down real fast. You know your game is messed up when, like, the hero you're scared of the most 40 minutes in is the enemy almost level 25 Witch Doctor? That, that is just so messed up, man. Everyone else on Secret, they're just kind of getting space created for them because of Pylai Dai's farm. And of course, they're all, like, very capable of getting kills and, and going in these fights as well. Like, Midwan could be doing what uh, Pylai Dai is doing to a very similar degree. Obviously, Lone Druid is stacked out of his mind, but... Uh, they don't really need to be doing this because Pylai Dai is setting traps up for the Tinker uh, like this. Oh, G. Uh, GG, here comes oh. Pylai Dai. Deploys the machine gun and takes him out and that's 24 and a half. Alright, so now that we've reached this point, 25, what do we get? Death what range, 20 voodoo restoration. Oh, mid. Nope, that was up. Back in wall again. Mag with the blade. Get them all surrounded, they cleave down the bear. But now Keizu deploys that also, but there's an eye of Scott. He will kite this around to the ends of the earth, and that Reaper Sight puts him in the ground for two minutes, and he immediately hits a GG. Secret had a, well, really, really gave it to Vega this game. There's no other word to say it, you know. I tried to use some fancy words there, but Secret had complete control of this game. We didn't hit 25 for which.